Hi everybody, this is Mr. Bradley and um, this is a screencast to show you how to solve problems um, involving the Doppler effect. This is a standard kind of problem that you might see when you're, when you're um, thinking about um, Doppler effect and sound. So this problem says a very fast car is coming directly toward you at 79 meters per second. The horn in the car produces a 650 hertz tone when the car is at rest. What is the frequency of the horn you hear? So um, hopefully you remember the idea that uh, when you have this car that's creating a sound wave, that sound wave will go out from it equally in all directions, right? But if that car is moving in a direction while it's creating those sound waves, those sound waves are actually gonna pile up in front of the car and so they're going to appear to be a higher frequency in front of the car um, and so somebody listening to that will actually hear it as a higher pitch than what it really is. So what we want to do is figure out what that Doppler effect here is going to be. Um, the important thing to know here is that the car itself is going 79 meters per second and it's going toward you, right? You have no speed whatsoever so you're just sitting there at rest. Um, the frequency that the car is emitting is 650 hertz. If, they're, if you're the observer sitting in the car, that's what you would hear. What I want to know is what frequency do you hear um, because the car is moving towards you. One important thing to know here is that the, the, speed, the wave that we're studying is sound, and so we're going to use the speed of sound when we solve this problem. All right. The last thing that we got to think about simply is what is the relative speed of the car and you relative to each other. Um, since you're not moving, the relative speed is really just the same as the speed of the car. So it's 79 meters per second toward you. Okay. All right, well, the equation for the Doppler effect is um, perceived frequency equals actual frequency times 1 over 1 plus or minus V over C naught. Right? Now, this plus or minus right here I left blank because we have to decide what that's going to be based on this toward motion. Um, because the car is going to be moving toward you, you're going to hear a higher frequency. That means this whole factor down here has to be some number bigger than one. Well, the only way you can get a number here that's bigger than one is if what's in the denominator is smaller than one. That's only going to happen if you subtract. So remember, toward motion you always use a minus in that denominator. So when I write down the numbers that I have here, 650 hertz, and I multiply by the Doppler factor, 1 over 1 minus 79 meters per second over 343 meters per second, I will find my answer. Okay, so I took a moment here to type this into the calculator um, using math type because I really want to convince you that, that this is the best way to do it when you're, when you're using this equation. This N over D button right here is really like the best way to do this because you can make it look on your calculator exactly like it looks on your paper. Then they're just not, you're sure you don't have any kind of problems whatsoever. Um, when I hit enter, um, I get like a perfect fraction, which is interesting. So um, I can just display this as a decimal instead by hitting the button over here on the side. And when I do that, I get 844.5 meters per second. Um, I understand that when you're doing this at home, you may not have the calculator that we use in the room. Um, you ha may have a different calculator, but you definitely, um, you definitely want to make sure that uh, you know how to do this on your calculator or my calculator. So anyway, I misspoke. This is hertz, not meters per second. And so with the two stick figs I have, this is going to be an 840 hertz tone. Okay, pretty standard problem involving Doppler effect. Um, definitely want to be able to do this kind of problem um, when it comes time to show us your understanding of Doppler effect. If you have any questions, please come in and see your physics teachers. Thanks again. Have a great day.